coming up, we'll be on location at Avanti Dentistry in Tyson's Corner, Virginia, discussing the latest advances in periodontics and how they can help restore your dental health and smile with one of this region's top periodontists, Dr. Bida Faramon. Dr. Faramon received her DDS degree from UCLA's dental school and completed her residency at NYU's College of Dentistry and is widely recognized as one of this area's leading dentists. Welcome, Dr. B. That's a pleasure having you back on our program. It's a pleasure being back. All right. I wanted to begin, if I may, by asking you if you can please tell us what some of these latest advances are in periodontics and how we can benefit from them. Sure. I mean, every day there's something new in this field, and that's why I love it so much. Um, we're looking at faster treatment times, faster healing times, um, with new products and regenerative materials. Um, you know, we're, that's something that we're able to give patients is their teeth back and faster, quicker, less pain and, you know, everything that anyone would ever want. <laughs> that's wonderful and get our smile back as well. Also what we're seeing more is trying to work with other disciplines of dentistry in periodontics such as orthodontics and the general dentist because your gum health can actually deteriorate if your teeth are out of whack, if they're, you know, malposition. So even if you have caries, it can cause gum disease. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what we're finding out more and more is that these disciplines, we all have to work together and, um, you know, all, all, all aspects are important in treatment of a patient. No, that's a very good point. You're absolutely right. And actually, that's one of the traits that makes you all unique is you actually have all these specialists within the same practice. Exactly. And what types of problems do periodontics address? specifically for folks out there that are watching? A periodontist treats uh, multiple problems. So the first one is gum disease. The second one is recession or soft tissue defects. Uh, the other one is bone, bone deficiencies in the mouth. And that's usually um, what we do if a patient needs implants or other reconstructive um, surgery. And speaking of patients, who would you say would be a good candidate that can benefit from periodontics. Anyone can benefit from periodontics. I think most people don't know that they need more than a dentist. A dentist handles the cavities and the teeth, but they also need to see someone that handles the gums and make sure that your gums are in good health because it's like planting a tree in bad soil. If the soil is bad, it doesn't matter how strong the tree is, it's not going to survive. And the same way, everyone knows about teeth, everyone knows about cavities, but they don't know about gums. And the bone that surrounds your teeth have to be in optimal shape. Otherwise, you can be cavity free, but it doesn't matter. If your gums aren't in good health, there's really nothing you can do. That's a great point and, and one that cannot be under, understated indeed. Yeah. And what kind of results, Dr. Bida, can folks expect from the treatments that are available in periodontics? Well, it depends. Someone that is coming for treatment of their gums, for gum disease, um, usually we like to try to stabilize them because it's right. not a reversible disease, but it's something that can be stopped from progressing. So that's the aim of our therapy, okay. um, is aiming at arresting and controlling the disease so it won't cause much further harm. Um, the other aspect uh, is implant therapy. So patients come to a periodontist usually if they want implants. And the good thing is that periodontists, they are able to not only you know, put the implant where the bone is in the mouth, but they can also develop a nice gingival architecture and structure so it's aesthetic. Because that's really what you see, is the tooth and the gum, especially when you're smiling. So you know, we take both of those aspects into the surgical treatment of, of implants. Mm -hmm. So that's, um, that's two aspects of periodontics. Lastly, before we let you go, Dr. Bita, you and your practice, the team here at Avanti Dentistry, certainly have established a reputation for excellence in dentistry. And I just wanted to ask you what you would feel helps make you all unique. I think what makes us unique is that we've really taken a team approach to dentistry. And this is a real team approach. We have all specialties in one location. That's an endodontist, periodontist, orthodontist, general dentist, and an oral surgeon. And like I told you before, the, the mouth is not just cavities. 
and root canals. It's everything. I mean, because ev everything is connected. So what we did is we brought everyone in house, and so patients don't have to leave and go somewhere else and you know go to a dentist that they don't know and they're not used to their clinic. It's really you know it's it's trying to eliminate the barriers to treatment and to really increase the lines of communication between all of us so we can deliver the best treatment to the patients. By having them all in, under one roof, it really makes it a lot easier for the patients. Not to mention, and I must say, I really want to commend you and your whole team here Thank because you. you've taken dentistry in every aspect uh, to another level. Thank you so much. Let me just add something to that. There's two reasons why people don't go to the dentist or they avoid their dentist. One is finances, the other is fear. So I think the thing that people fear about the dentist is it's really such an insult to all your senses when you walk into a dental office. The smell, the sound, the sight, it's, it's just a total insult to all your body senses. So what we try to do in the development of our new office is try to eliminate all of those insults by making the space bigger and nicer and, and really in an enjoyable place to be in, um, playing nice uh, relaxing background music. Watching movies or you've got these TV screens right in front of everybody. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, having TV screens, having, having massage chairs, um, and you know the space is so big that you don't really smell that dental office smell. No. Um, <laughs> totally different. Yet. <laughs> well, exactly. it's certainly very unique and I want to just uh, thank you again Dr. Beater thank for you. joining us enlightening us some more and being a guest on our program. Thank you so much. It was such an honor. Thank oh, you so much. It's our pleasure. We'd love to have you back on in the future. Thank You've you. got to be a regular. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You take care. Thank you.